<laughs> Better made. Came up with them thoroughbred swap world that was Detroit City. Moved out to the Gold State, California. I ain't come from love with me. Focus like Adderall. When I had a ball, I shattered boys. Shack fool in the 9 2 with vocab boy like Scattergore. One kid, but I'm sunny. What up, bro, everybody? I'm Mark. This is Inwell Closet Collection. Thanks for hitting my channel up. If you're on videos on fresh and the best kicks, merch, etc., be sure to like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Shout out to Little Master for the reminder. Today, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Adidas Easy QNTM in the Onyx colorway. These shoes dropped a week ago on September 10th for the price of 250 bucks. I ended up copying mine from BSTN. I copped them like the night before. Took a little while to come, but I got these bad boys. The resale on these bad boys, resale is pretty much non-existent. So on my size, size 13, 13 and a half, it's like at retail. Most other sizes is probably below and this colorway is extra dope. So I'm expecting it to go up. As far as size and size on these bad boys, to me, I got Q and TMs. You've seen the background. I got some 13 and a half, some 13s. Honestly, I prefer the 13, but on the easy website, on easy supply, it says go a half size up. Full disclaimer. <laughs> It's my second time shooting this video. The first video I was shot was just too blurry. I couldn't post that, so I decided to reshoot. Since yesterday and today, I have worn the shoe, and the shoe fits good. The right shoe was kind of snug. Maybe it was my right foot. The left shoe was perfect. After I wore them all day, they conformed and fits well at true to size. So before these dropped, I see them teased everywhere, but I see them teasing on my homeboy channel, Yeezy Influence, AKA Influence Visions. If y'all want the latest news on any Yeezys, early looks, information, you know, et cetera, et cetera, Yeezy, <laughs> Be sure to check the homeboy out, Yeezy Influence, aka Influence Visions on Instagram. Since I already unboxed some bad boys yesterday, had no need for my shank, but no matter what, always remember, safety first. Let's check these bad boys out. So you get your standard Yeezy box, the QNTM box, boost on the sacks is boosting these bad boys. The size tag says YZY QNTM, size 13, colorway is Onyx, Onyx, Onyx. Let's check these bad boys out. <laughs> a dope shoe for the second time. And there you have it, the new Adidas Easy Q and TM in the Onyx colorway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So I'm sorry for wearing a dark shirt with a dark shoe, but I want to wear my Donda merch. This is the Atlanta merch, you know, just got delivered. Then, you know, I got the Donda hat. I wanted to rock it for this video because a Yeezy video with some Yeezy merch is always good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's time to a review. Starting the lateral side to bottom, this outsole is spilling up a little bit. It's a semi-translucent black, which is very nice, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then going to this midsole, the midsole is also a semi-translucent black. And it's light enough that you can see a little bit of that boost popping out, which I think is a very good touch. So going back to the heel of the shoe, this heel cup is typically like as a big silver spot and then a gray spot in the back. That gray spot in the back is the same, but the silver is not so silver, it's like black. And you can see a 3M speckle. Now, this bad boy shine good, y'all. They come back to the midfoot. This midfoot has this prime knit pattern. The prime knit pattern's on top. It's kind of reminiscent of the 350 V2 zebra pattern. And it's got some blacks. It's got some dark gray and a little bit of regular gray in there. Underneath that prime knit pattern, you have this mesh. The mesh is in black. Underneath that, you have this uh, 3M squiggly line. <laughs> and it pops real hard in the light, y'all. Then moving up towards the ankle, you got this uh, standard, you know, Yeezy Q and TM ankle collar up here, and it's like a neoprene and it's black. Then it has this tape that's going on top of the stitching. And I keep saying remove this tape off the stitching because I do believe like the stitching could be used as like another color pop. Rolling on to the front of the shoe, you get more of that also spilling up. Then going up, you have this traditional 700 V1, V2, V3 fangs. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's traditional on a QNTM. And this fang right here is supposed to be like a suede, but it's, it's like a rough suede. And it's in a dark gray, which is a good color contrast. But I would like to see like in a black or a charcoal. If we want to pass that, you go into this tongue. The tongue is neoprene and it's all black. And it's all, all all like one piece. It's all connected to the inside of the shoe. And on top of the tongue, you have these uh, rope laces. These rope laces are black and they go into the lace loops, which are kind of like hidden underneath the side panels. Then at the top of the laces, you have these... uh. It's like these caps, these caps are, it's like plastic covering or like a rubber covering. Thank God's not infinity loop. It's okay to be infinity, but I prefer regular laces on QNTM. So going to the top of the shoe, this collar, like the top of the tongue kind of is separated a little bit. It's attached to like uh, the side of the shoe, which is like stitched to the back side of the shoe. <laughs> then around the back side, it's more of that tape and it's like no padding up here, like virtually no padding. Then going down into the shoe, it's black on the inside and you get like a bit of cushion like around the Achilles area and that's about it. At the bottom of the shoe, you have this insole that's all black with great Adidas Easy branding. Roll on to the medial side of the shoe, or the art size I like to call it. It's pretty much a mirror image of the lateral side. If you look at it, it's no real differences. It's just a really dope shoe and I like the shoe a whole lot. 
roll off the heel of the shoe, you got this standard heel cut back here, which is like mostly gray in the middle. Then on the sides, it's normally like silver. I want to say like on the teal, the C teal, it was kind of like teal a little bit, a little bit greenish. Then I want to say on the floors back there, it's like a little bit of orangish, like a burnt orange. But this is black and there's so much 3M spec within it. That's what you see. It's like it's, it's like a static. <laughs> They're going up past that, you get more of that neoprene going around back here, more of that tape. Nothing really fancy to see there. Roll on to the bottom of the shoe. You have this classic Adidas Easy QNTM also. This time it's in this semi-translucent black or very, very dark gray of cinder. Then towards the back, you get this boost popping through and it says boost in it. Then right at the midfoot, you have this Adidas three stripe branding. So as you already know, in World Closet Collection, if I have a shoe or shoes I think is very similar to the shoe I'm reviewing, I do a quick comparison. So let's check it out. So you have the QNTM Onyx and the 380 Onyx. And with the same name, you know, I kind of figured, let's check them out. So when it comes to the prime knit, the prime knit on the QNTM is actually a, a blacker black than it is on these Onyx. This is the Onyx Reflective, so it's probably why it's not as black. And then outside of that, uh, there's no real similarity. So the midsole on the 380, it's like a root beer kind of. <laughs> it's not as black as this midsole over here on the QNTM. Of course, the outsoles are different. And between the two, honestly, if I had to pick one, after wearing these yesterday, in my original review, I say the 380. Now I'm going towards the QNTM because these just look good on foot. They feel good on foot. 380s aren't to be slept on. Feel super good on foot. But after wearing these, like actually wearing them and seeing how they look and how they feel. So after looking at these and seeing these on foot, I'm going to the QNTM today. But honestly, I'll wear one of each. <laughs> what would you choose? Let me know in the comment section down below. So once again, this is a very solid shoe. Uh, I'm glad to have it. I'm glad to rock it. Got it for retail. And I... Uh, Honestly, I want to feel what a 13 and a half feels like, but it's not that urgent or important to me. I'm cool with this true to size 13. So you guys tell me, were you able to pick up the new QNTM from Adidas Easy in the Onyx colorway? Leave me on the comment section down below. So once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning into my channel. Give me all the feedback, show me all the love. We are very close to a thousand subscribers. I want to break that thousand mark. I want you guys to help me along the way. Y'all have been helping me, been a great community, been having conversation, been having dialogue. I want to keep that momentum rolling. So please tell your friends, family, whoever, subscribe. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all share it. <laughs> when we get to that thousand, I will be doing the easy giveaway. As my little son say, don't be a stupid dumb hater. Like and subscribe. Holla. I ain't trying to be aggressive, but I wanted on the humble. She shine like VBS's and her tongue can do a funnel. She a bad little five plus five. Girl, I want you. Ain't no sliding, ain't no DM, but when I can slide up on you, she's talking out the net. Mouth closed, full of liquor. Get rendezvous, we celebrate big for going bigger. Some thought I lost, some recognize the cost that I paid to be, of course, nothing less than the boss. Hot boxing for the f let them smell the turps and cologne. I got no handouts, giving worked off my loans. I wish it would tell me put out my strong. I'm a California taxpayer, that's on my own. Yeah, learn to hit them flip, flip, flips. Get it in like gymnastics and flip, flip, flip. Quiet, but a sharpshooter. Flip, flip, flip. If the plan don't land, I load up another clip. Can't miss. Plan A had to work, no plan B.